Chronic hypertension during pregnancy increases the risk of poor pregnancy and birth outcomes. Although consensus exists for the use of antihypertensive therapy to treat severe hypertension during pregnancy, its benefits and safety for treating mild chronic hypertension during pregnancy are unclear. In this U.S. multicenter open-label randomized controlled trial, 2,408 women with mild chronic hypertension and a singleton fetus at less than 23 weeks gestation were assigned to receive either active treatment with antihypertensive medications to achieve a systolic blood pressure of less than 140 millimeters of mercury and a diastolic blood pressure of less than 90 millimeters of mercury, or standard treatment, in which women received no treatment unless severe hypertension developed. The incidence of the primary outcome, a composite of preeclampsia with severe features, medically indicated preterm birth before 35 weeks, placental abruption, or fetal or neonatal death, was significantly lower with active treatment than with standard treatment, with an approximate incidence of 30% versus 37%. The safety outcome, the incidence of small for gestational age birth weight below the 10th percentile, did not differ significantly between the groups. In analyses of secondary outcomes, composites of serious maternal or neonatal complications occurred infrequently. The results suggest lower rates of preeclampsia and preterm birth with antihypertensive therapy. The authors conclude that treating mild chronic hypertension during pregnancy reduced adverse pregnancy outcomes without impairing fetal growth. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.